What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with me, your boy Iggy. Today, we're going to be covering up the cactus farm that we built in the last episode with a structure of some sort. I mean, I figured we're just going to kind of freestyle it. I have not done any of the builds in this world in Creative First. It's just kind of been, you know, rolling with the flow. And I figured we would continue that trend with today's uh, build, which is going to be, you know, blending in the cactus farm that we got with the rest of our little town that we've got going here. So definitely starting to come along. We've really filled out a good chunk of this uh, field here. And especially considering how many farms we have at this point and how they're all hidden inside of buildings, you know, like we've got our sugarcane farm right here with the cow farm up above it, all that good stuff. So that being said, let's take a crack and see what we can do with this. Part of me wants to use the glass that's already there as the windows so we can look into the farm and maybe inset them like we did on that building right there and maybe do something along those lines i think that could look really nice so i think we'll give that a shot so as always i have done everything in odd so we've got you know the corner block here with a five block gap center block five block gap and then we've got the other corner on the front here we've got a three block gap and then a three block gap and a three block gap and I figured we would have a little offshoot of the building coming off of this front portion here. So <clears throat> I'm going to get things framed up and get the uh, first floor taken care of because that's pretty straightforward. We're just going to bring all these up to a total of five high. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we will connect them up. And it looks like all this is going to be in the way. That's no problem, though, because we can just do that. And it looks like I actually... Did these sun right? Did I do... Oh, yeah, then this is a drop down wait this should be three. Oh yeah and there's three in the center oh gosh my brain is somewhere else today but yeah we're basically just going to do that all the way around so we'll continue these up probably five as well so two three four and five that puts us right here yeah you know what? i think that'll actually work because then we can stack something on top of this to start blending this in so i'm gonna get the bottom in you know just a basic square we'll do the varying textures like we've done on the other builds and then once we've got the base down, or the, uh, the foundation, I should say, of the structure, we'll figure out how we're going to cover up the top. I already know I want the point to be facing us, so over here, so it's going to have its tip, if you will, right there, kind of like how we did with the, uh, nope, that is the mini HUD menu, like over there, kind of how we've got that, that's going to be right there so i'm gonna go ahead get that in we'll join back up and then we will get cracking with the rest of it so i'll see you just a sec. all right so i've been playing with it for a little bit and here's what we've got so we've got the basic little front of the structure which lines up perfectly with our little path right here you have to decorate that but we're probably going to be getting a roof on that before we do anything just so we can kind of see how uh it's going to fit in with the rest of the build so we can start kind of transitioning things together but yeah, pretty basic stuff. We'll have, you know, dark oak stairs in the corners here to kind of arch out <clears throat> the sides a little bit and then probably lanterns in the middle just to light up this path. We may be able to relocate this light post right here, perhaps to, I don't know, it's pretty bright right here with these. So maybe we'll pull that back over like in this corner or something like that. And that'll kind of help with the uh, overfilling right here because we don't want to have too much uh, light saturation going on. But only left the uh, one window back here because this is going to be mostly, you know, covered up by possibly walkway, barrel, stuff like that. So now what we really need to do is figure out what we are going to do with the upper portion of the build. Because I did not really think about this. And I have the wall continuing up on the inside, but then the framing is going to be one block out. So we're going to have to figure out how to uh, tie that in. But I think the first thing that I'm going to do is start getting some alternate blocks in like some uh, mossy stone brick some cracked stone bricks for these um edge ones hopefully not too much of the water leaks out we should be okay if i bring this glass up one more as well so i will probably do that too so i'm gonna go ahead and get the glass brought up one more block and then we'll probably start thinking about texturing actually you know what instead of doing glass we're going to bring these stone bricks down and continue it that way. So that way we've got the two high windows. And then when we're framing this thing out, we can kind of figure out uh, 
where we're going to go with that because I think what we can do is have the bottom where the walls are inset and then have the walls just sitting on the top right here and then that'll give us that one block of depth that we need so we can do the uh you know the shutters like they're open to the sides like we did on these windows something like that maybe we'll fancy it up a little bit but I think something like that could work really well so you're gonna have to give me a minute to uh, get the stone bricks all taken care of because I did not really think to do this. I kind of figured the structure would be around the farm, not um, combined with the farm. So that's going to be a little bit interesting, but it should be fun. So give me just a moment. Like I said, we're going to get the glass or not the glass, the bricks in, and then we will start kind of figuring out how we're going to bring this thing up. So give me just a moment. All right, so midway through doing the uh, stone bricks across the top and, you know, changing up the uh, type of brick so it's a little more, um, what's the word to put it, uh, textured, there we go, just having a slow day today, I don't know, but anyway, I was in free cam here looking around our little city to figure out what color the roof should be on this build and I'm kind of looking back and I'm kind of stuck between either pulling over the uh, warped wood or the crimson wood but then I feel the crimson's a little close to that which right here I don't know it eh. the dark oak looks really nice so we could do that but then we've got the dark oak right there we don't can't do blackstone because of the blackstone you know what we could do is just go completely wild and wacky with it and uh, do a combination of like maybe like acacia wood and some other orange block I'll have to play with that a little bit and uh, we'll see what we can come up with but I'm gonna go ahead get the rest of this figured out and the only reason I brought that up is because I was planning on putting the roof on this little front portion right here just so we could kind of see how it would tie in with the build and ah oh, see it's a really tough call because we've got the brick and I think the brick would look great but we've got so much brick already right here and here there's not really that much dark oak so I guess we could possibly you know what I think we're going to go with the dark oak and then maybe what we'll do is we'll give it like a black stone uh border kind of like how we did the polished um granite right here with the brick i think we'll do maybe like a blackstone brick or a polished blackstone um border around the thing and then we will go with a dark oak for the actual um the roof itself so i mean we're a little ways from that point we still got to figure out how we're going to make this look like less of a monstrosity but I've got some ideas in mind, so just bear with me here, and uh, hopefully we'll have something pretty cool pretty shortly. So, see you in a little bit longer, and we'll see what we got. All right, so here's what we've got so far. Did the uh, details for the bricks, but now I'm thinking that we might end up pulling things out a little bit here. And what I mean by that is we're in, I figured we would come... And we'll do like an upside down stair maybe. And then on the other side, we'll do another one there. And then one like that. All right. And then we'll bring this window down one. So we'll bring the glass down to here. And then we'll replace this one with the brick. So we have a too high window. Or maybe not. We might put bushes here. Hmm. You know what, we'll probably still do the glass here. We'll put the bushes on top of these so it's in front of the glass. And that way we still got the... Mm, well, actually, you know what? Let's just grab the bushes. We'll just, just do, the, do this together, see how it comes out. So let's grab some more oak. May end up changing this later, but let's see. So if I were to have... Well, no, I guess instead of doing the bushes, what we'll do is we'll bring the glass down. And then on the sides here, let's get our cracked stone bricks our normal stone bricks and our I guess mossy so we'll get those and then we'll do something like maybe like this like I said I'm really just freestyling here so that the window is too tall and we put them like this and then we replace that with glass so let's just hop in here grab a glass block uh, put that in our offhand 
and then we can break and place and my system is going to be all kinds of clogged up with all this stuff trying to go in there so we've got the yeah so we can pull all these out so we've actually got quite a bit of cactus uh building up here and it looks like the sorting system is doing some wonky stuff but this way we can kind of keep track of how much cactus we've got just during the build here and it's looking like quite a bit but back over here so if we do something like that let's uh pull this out of the way and then hop into free cam so we can kind of not really a good angle i should have done this on a different side so if we've got a three high window right there we could probably put a little flower pot right there and then we could put trap doors or something along here so that we can get the um the leaves to kind of hang down and make it look a little more overgrown like some of these other buildings with their little planter boxes i think that will look really good and then we get more depth because we've got like the window here like this so then if we just copy this up to the top we can pull these actually since we only need a two high window here let's try like i said we're literally just doing this together this is why i'm not time lapsing this build because sometimes you just get some situations where it's a little finicky i think what we're going to do is we'll take an upside down stair and place it right there and then we'll have our two high windows and then we'll be able to continue these across like that while still leaving the one block that we're going to need to do that all the way up and then we'll be able to put our shutters you know on the sides here and it looks like since we have three we'll have to have some open ones just because that's the way that i usually break those things up but i think this is actually going to work pretty well since we're not really ever going to be up here looking this closely at it we do need to go ahead and see if i can hop across here pull this one out and make that a crisscrossy one but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start doing that all the way around. I'm debating how much I like this little bottom angled bit. I mean, mm, I don't know how good that would look up on the top. It would leave a little gap if we did it with the upside down stair, just like it did kind of right there. You can see there's a little gap through. But I guess that won't really matter if we do the same... So you know what, let's try it again over here, and then if it works out, then I will go ahead and get the rest of it put in. And then we can all uh, have a look at how things turned out ultimately at the end. So where's my other stair? Go ahead and put one on the side. Nope, not like that. Uh, do I like it better with the dip or with the flat? You know, I almost might like it better with the flat. So you know what, let's go ahead and we'll pull this one out. We'll make it like that and then we'll continue those up so let's get our scaffolding and we'll come up a little bit right here this one needs to be glass so we'll go ahead and just pull that out and put a glass one right there and then we'll come across over here let's get our cracked stone bricks our regular stone bricks and put our cracked ones back with that and then our mossy stairs so then we can bring the regular bricks up, I guess, one, we cracked one over there, Let's see where's my mossy ones, then we'll do something like that, and then maybe a regular, a mossy, and then an upside down stair right in the middle, and then that will let us bring this back across like so. Yeah, I think... That'll look good because then we can put the little planter right there and then maybe down here somewhere we can have our leaves. Or maybe we won't do leaves on all of them, but either way, I think this looks a little bit better with the, um, the stair like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in all the way up and then we will come back and figure out how we're going to decorate this thing because it's going to be a fun build to detail. So I'm going to have to change those little corners right there be like that get that done all the way around and up another couple levels so i will see you in a moment it'll be a little bit for me but just sec for you so I'll see you soon all right so time for a brief pop back in here's what we've got so far basically we're going to have the uh, polished black stone border and then a dark oak roof kind of like we did down here i just ran out of uh, black stone so i actually have to go and uh farm up some more and I actually just noticed that my ears are crooked but that's no big deal anyway here's what the build's looking like so far not detailed at all yet we do still need to get the arches up here in these windows 
like we have here. And then we'll probably continue that along with some trap doors right there. Hang some lanterns in the middle, get some leaves going across right here that kind of hang down. Down here, we'll probably do the same thing where we've got, you know, leaves probably at this level. So we'll maybe put the dark oak stairs here and here like we had um, right here. Just move them up and then have a little uh, ledge for like planters and whatnot like we're going to do it on here. Or maybe we'll just do just trap doors and just kind of have some plants hanging off of that. We'll have to see. But I need to run to the nether to get more blackstone because you can see I got almost halfway through the uh, roof here and then ran out of the wood that I need or the uh, stone that I needed. So I need to go grab that, but then we can come back and we can get this thing detailed and dusted and done. So give me just a moment. Hopefully when we join back up, we'll have the roof finished and uh, I'll have this thing somewhat detailed. So give me just a moment. All right, so here's what we've got so far. We've got the entire roof put on. We just need to get the iron bars up at the top there and the lanterns hanging from the chains. You need to fill in this little spot right here, probably with just some uh, white wool. A little bit of detailing left to go up here. We'll probably finish out these arches with our trap doors and then get some plants, some shrubberies, all that good stuff in. So I'm going to go ahead, get all that knocked out right now, fix this little tree that we messed up. And uh, yeah, once I've got the finished product all done, I'll join back up with you. We'll have a look and we'll call the episode for today. So give me just a sec. All right, so sometime later and we are finished with all the detailing and the build is done. So let's have a look at it. We'll hop down to floor level first and just kind of get a gander at it. So everything is all fully detailed. The only thing it looks like I forgot to do is put uh, flowers in the flower pots, but that's no big deal. Got a nice structure right here. Still need to do the interior, but the path wraps around it nicely. Makes the area feel nice and full. Pop right in, you know, pretty standard stuff. Same as last time, just put some lights up. Some minor details, we'll have to redo the uh, interior of that later, but let's hop into free cam and we can kind of get a look at the build. So inside, we've still got our cactus farm all functioning as it should. Got the nice little like penthouse view up at the top and then just kind of your regular floors going down. But one thing that I did want to really get a look at it from that I have not done yet is see how it looks from over here. Yeah, see, towering behind the other buildings. Actually, even at ground level, it probably will look even better. Yeah, now we've got something that kind of like fills the skyline over there. So as you approach this way, if these trees weren't quite blocking it so much, you'd really get a good a good view. And it looks like, let's see if I can find somewhere we can actually like get a good glimpse of this thing. Yeah, like right here is a good angle because you can kind of see how it it draws your eye back. So you follow a natural pathway when you're looking at it. We'll go have a gander from over here real quick. But yeah, overall, definitely happy with how this came out. Now you can come with this little path. We'll have a little build right here. And then this will start to fill your eye line with, you know, more houses right over here. I we'll have a nice little path that comes through here. Maybe we'll cut the path through right here and go up. Or maybe we'll go around the back right here. I have not yet decided. It just kind of depends on what we end up getting in this area. But I do know we need to build there. We need to build there. And we need to build there to really bring this all together. I don't know if these ones will necessarily be quite as tall. I mean, these might just be two-story. This one's like a four-story building. These might be two-story. And then they'll kind of line up with about right there. But did the uh, slanted roof the direction that I had planned? So that way we get the flat look when we're coming at it from like over here let me land real quick and we can have a good look yeah so it's like flat as opposed to a lot of the other ones where you're facing the point and i think that really just helps break things up quite a bit but that being said this has been quite the build and i think that's what we're gonna have to call the episode for today so if you liked it make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell button so you're notified every time a new video comes out don't forget to leave me a comment in the uh, comments down below i love reading your guys comments check all my links in the description and as always hope you have a great rest of your day we'll see you in the next video Bye bye